<laughs> the shadow of a slasher! I think I just inked in my pants. You don't have pants. I can't believe I was reduced to tears by a wannabe fry schnook. Yay! We're not going to be horribly mutilated by ghosts! What's up, it's Scott coming to you guys with part six of SpongeBob's Truth or Square. So, um, yeah, looks like we got to talk to Squiddy. I, I, I think this is the boss of the second act. Remembering memories in flashback form is so much fun. Nothing makes me happier than this time that I get to spend with all of you, my friends. <laughs> Isn't this great, Squidward? Oh, sure. There's nothing like a trip down memory lame. Oh my god, Squidward, I feel a memory forming, and you're in it! Remember when you had your first Krabby Patty? Remember that new patty smell? The taste? <laughs> ah. Who does SpongeBob think he has killed? Oh, Squidward. Because that's in the episode where, um, uh, they melt his wax, uh, statuette of him. I remember that episode. That was a good one. If I can only get as happy as you did when you first bit into that hot, juicy, savory patty. The crisp flavor, the tangy pickles, the pillow soft buns. Oh, I tell you, there is nothing like a Krabby Patty. Ah! Oh, Squidward, I think I remember where I put the secret formula. <laughs> Uh -oh. Yep, so now we have to fight Squiddy. The tides are about to turn, but Bob. <laughs> yeah, you're so cool there, dude. Is vulnerable to hits. Oh yeah, and then they have these weird platforms. How would you like some new playmates, SpongeBob? It's time to spin a tail of destruction. Excuse me. Kill the note in my pores. I guess that uh, music. Music. Oh, that'll help. Did that just really hit me? Wait. Wait, 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 why did the game... Wait, why is it doing that? Oh, yeah. There we go, bonk. Oh, he's eating chum. No, I guess it's Krabby Patties. It just looked like chum. Oh yeah, and then he's gonna have the death attack. I never thought darn Why does it sound like he's all. farting? It's like... All that spinning has made me ravenous for revenge. And more Krabby Patties. For revenge. Crap water. Thank you. Yeah. I can feel the nuts in my pores. You don't take the crap. <laughs> okay. Can the water Oh wait a minute. How would you like some new playmates? I'm pretty sure we have to go like that, right? Boom! Oh, what the heck was that? Wait, that hit him? That was weird. Now he's gonna get even fatter due to the Krabby Patties. I love how they're like a PNG of Krabby Patties. So what the heck was he doing there? Oh yeah, this part again. I'm not a fan of this part. This part sucks. Actually, I remember this being way more difficult. Like, I remember the boss fights in this game like 100%, but I I get certain versions of the levels confused in um, like Battle for Bikini Bottom in place of this game. Because they both share um, a lot of similar levels. Because this, this is technically a sequel, I believe, to Battle for Bikini Bottom. Alright, so we'll go here, hit this. 
and then hit this. And then we just gotta wait for him to keep lowering his tentacles, and boom! Defeated. And there we go, he died. And we got a Krabby Patty. Nice. Sweet. Krabby Patty. Super easy boss fight, honestly. It wasn't bad at all. Mmm, Scrumpter. Too bad you can't remember where you put the formula. Pretty soon you'll probably forget how to even make a Krabby Patty. Don't say it! <laughs> So close to remembering where I put the formula. I can almost taste it. A patty, not the formula for the patty, which was written on a piece of paper that I'm sure doesn't taste too great. But well, I'm remembering again. But I'm still not happy enough. <laughs> okay, SpongeBob. Crying isn't gonna bring your beloved secret formula back to you. <laughs> if I keep going, sooner or later I'm bound to remember. I hope. I can't remember if this game has Rock Bottom, or if it was Battle for Bikini Bottom. I still need to get Cosmic Shake. I think I'm gonna get that, uh... Which theme park did- oh, it's Glove World. Sponge City Undersea World? Like, really? Like, that one's obvious. Like, none of those really make sense. They sound dumb. Squidward again. Um, alright. Somebody wanted me to change the picture of the- Oh, this one. They wanted me to change really this. Happy, but I kind of like it. There you go. For the one guy who wanted me to change that, I'll change it. Let's grab the final health upgrade, by the way. Here we go. I think it's fitting that in the third, uh, or the th final third of the game. Remember where I put the formula. <sighs> Almost. I haven't been this worried since I worked the 24-hour shift and had to take out the trash. The hash slinging slasher. Ah! Ah! Hash slinging slasher. Ah! And it turns out to be a guy who wanted to apply for a job. What does SpongeBob dream of earning? Oh, his driver's license. Like, what else would he want to earn? A new pair of pants? You don't earn pants or spatulas. You earn a driver's license. Years ago, at this very restaurant. The hash slinging slasher used to be a fry cook. And every Tuesday night, his ghost returns. By the way, SpongeBob, it's your turn to take out the track. That was obscure. No! This music reminds me a lot of um Thieves Den from Enter the Dragonfly. Okay, so this game is the one with rock bottom. Okay, I'm not I'm not going crazy. So we have rock bottom, which is category five. interesting. The music here is pretty good. Now I remember this level though, because this one was a little more on the difficult side. Also, this is a challenge literally at the beginning of the level. I am SpongeBob. Hear me roar! And we really need the uh, the attack buff. Oh, is this going to be timed? Oh yeah, we have to go inside the giant fish because that's not at all weird. Oh, wait, is this one timed? Oh, it is! That's great to know. I love timed gumball challenges. Especially when you have to wait patiently for the water to dissipate. Really? I didn't even have time to fully turn around before it came back up. Alright. Get ready for the Spongy Bungie Express! And it looks like I made it. Okay, good. Oh, it's slippery. Why, Squid, why are you inside the fish? What I don't understand, though, is why we're in rock bottom. This had nothing to do with the episode. You think it just takes place in the Krusty Krab? Uh, oh, really? Really? You're gonna get me stuck between the enemy? You can't attack on this. Tongue surfing. I'm bursting with happiness. Tongue surfing. I, re I remember that from something. Is that just when he th goes down the ski hill and he uses his tongue? Okay, the 
the fish just sunk into the... I don't even know what part of him that was. Oh, we got... Oh, that's not a bomb bot, is it? Is it a bomb bot? Oh, it is a bomb bot. Oh god, these enemies are brutal. Because they're... Trouble now. now, where do we want you? I'm assuming back. Oh, right here. There we go. Once it turns pink, then it's golden. Oh, I see. It was just to get through the fan blade, and of course, it's gonna sink down to the stomach acid. I'm pretty sure that's the whole gimmick of this level, is just everything kind of eventually sinks. Yeah, this looks like a little alcove for literally good. nothing. So I wonder, really, they fell into the acid? Wait, what the heck is this? Oh, it's the enemy spawner, but what does this do? Oh, it's for one of the, um, the collectibles. These are just giant wooden logs. They even look. Wait, this isn't a collectible. That's just a one-up game. You don't realize that stuff like that is not worth me collecting, right? Like you have a ton of lives in this game. It's not like it's an issue to collect lives. I am SpongeBob Destroyer, whatever it was. I don't even know this part of this game. Oh yeah, we're lowering the stomach acid. Oh, right on. I guess we made him poop? Oh, that's one of those bomb bots. Okay. They're not bomb bots. I, I don't know what they're called. Because the bomb bots are the big ones, right? Or are those boom bots? I'm not actually entirely sure of their names. Oh, hey, look. A power increase. Don't mind if I do. Why did it, why does he have multiple uvula? That's kind of weird. Well, I guess that's his heart. Why are his eyeballs on the inside of his head? And why do we just break the poor fish's teeth? This just seems like animal abuse. I guess technically SpongeBob's an animal, despite being based off of an in, uh, off of a dish sponge and not the actual sponge plant. Or like, it's, I don't know, I don't think it's a plant. Just kind of like sponge-like creature. Oh yeah, then we need the acid to come back. Now have some heartburn, good sir, because that's fair. We don't need to hit this one because we did already lower it. I love how you can hear his heart. Also, are these more teeth? Why do you have teeth over here? Also, I haven't found a single collectible. I can't remember how big this level is, though. It could be a big level. And we're outside. This seems kind of barren. And now we got plants again. I was like, what happened? Oh. I'm so happy I could hug a jellyfish high. No. So Are you serious? Go. Instead of deflecting it, it blew it up the first time. Dude, hurry up. Just shoot the bomb already. What did you hit? He's hitting the ground. I'm so confused with like what he's actually hitting. Oh. Looks like now we have to do the uh, cannon, or I guess that's um water balloon, right? Uh, this doesn't look too bad. Wait, what? Hey, SpongeBob, I think I might have to, you know. Go pretty soon. Please hold it, Plankton. Please tag your it. Wait, what is that hitting? 
I can do this in my That was weird. It was like hitting an invisible wall. I think it was hitting the uh, the grate that was covering up the hole, or that was like producing the hole. I don't know. The music here is like super eerie. Wait, why are these platforms falling? Everything in this level just decides to fall, you know? Oh, is this the... Oh, this is the Sandy Power. Would've made way more sense to have the Sandy Power here, but... I'll take it. Patrick, you're an idiot. And Sephardt is now I have to just wait it out. I don't know why you'd have to spin there, but... Sure, why not? Why not? Makes sense, I guess. Oh, now we got... Oh, we got gumball challenges. Fun, my favorite thing. This, this is like the worst part of the game because it's also the most glitchy. Right, it's not a ball, it's it's a pile of gum, which is just in the shape of a ball. That's about it. I did. Thanks for asking, Spongebob. No one Alright, let's just destroy all of this stuff. Now, let's see if we can find any of the collectibles here. Like, I collected them all before, because I did 100% this game, I'm pretty sure. Next, the lights will flicker on and on. Wait, are we seriously just at this part of the story? Maybe we didn't miss any collectibles yet. Squiddy, do you have any collectibles over here? No, but you can disrupt him, which is kind of funny. Oh, uh, balls. Say you dally, but I oh, that was unfair. Like what do we have over here? Oh, an enemy gauntlet? Ow. There we go. Double. Okay, I wasn't expecting Big Chungus here to be right up my butt. The fact that we have to deal with like a lot of these big enemies now is crazy. You see the camera or the hammer? Are these bouncy? Oh, they are bouncy. Or something, that's funny. Or maybe an idiot Spongebob. So it looks like it opened up some kind of cable over here. Alright. Oh, I thought that was a collectible. Once again, not a collectible, just a one-up. Wait a minute, what's down here? Who's next? There could be something down here, though we do need the money regardless, because we can still get outfits and everything, despite having all the health. Can we actually get up here? No, I thought maybe there'd be like a secret kind of maybe hiding behind it or something, you know? Though, a lot of them will be collectibles, or, um, challenges. The collectibles will be in challenges. Alright, then looks like we can pull this across. I'm not a big fan of this gimmick in this game. Just because... You mean, the, like, the electricity? I don't know if it's a repulsive light. No, are there any... No. Oh, it's fists. I was like, what are those? Whoa, you slide. Near immediately once it, uh... Once it does that. Holy bejesus. Okay, this is just coins up there. Did they go down at the exact same time? Not exactly, but close. I'll take a free one up though. Alright, this part looks easy enough. Yeah, it just. It won't work, SpongeBob, because we're trying to get your memories back, and it won't work if you don't move. Oh, 
Oh, looks like we got this little robot again. Fun. We don't bleed special slots. They ooze green slime. Like, that wasn't even remotely close to the line. Wait, why did I... I guess I hit the wall behind it, right? Oh god, what's this going on here? Oh, we got falling little holes and the Mrs. Puff section? Huh. So are you telling me one of the collectibles is just chilling right here? Yeah, rock bottom. I knew this was rock bottom, I'm not going crazy. This is also a pretty big level. Like honestly. Oh, this is gonna be annoying because of um I didn't want to fire. I wish there was a way to cancel that. With every drop of rain, a platform grows. Soaking it up. Oh, whoops. Not, not the button I wanted to do. Yeah, I remember this being annoying. Happy happens. Right. I'm assuming it's square. Wait, or is it triangle? SpongeBob! Yes, Blankton. Don't you have anything cold to drink? No, it is triangle. It just, for whatever reason, just wasn't letting me uh, do anything. Grow, my little one. Grow. There we go. Can you get away from me? Can someone please kiss my boo boo? Oh wait, you don't actually. Oh, Grow, my little one. Grow. I was about to say, you don't actually lose the power up. You just take damage, which really isn't that big of an issue considering. I'd rather be jelly fishing. Hey, that'd make a good bumper sticker. It would, especially for somebody like SpongeBob. Honestly, this isn't too bad. Like, yeah, we took two hits, but in reality... Oh, don't let me fall down the hole because you get stunned by an enemy. Oh, look, it's the Hash Sling Slasher. Oh, that's a silhouette. Like, it's just like a PNG of a silhouette. It's not even a real one. Round, round. What's going on here? Lava. And the eel. This is gonna be a longer episode. This is a pretty beefy level. <sighs> we made it. Also, eel, I don't know why, but... Whoa, what is with the camera angle? Whatever your little heart desires, I didn't mean to fall, but sure. Great. Could you scratch my frontal lobe? I hope I don't lose my lunch. God, how many hits do you take, dude? Happiness is and happiness does. Alright, looks like we got a balloon thingy right here. Oh, that was not the way it was supposed to go. Oh wait, we don't have a way for it to bounce. Oh okay, yeah, looks like we also got bomb bots in here too. Just a little bit of everything in this level, isn't it? Really? I tried doing like the attack where you could just do extra damage to them. But no, the game was like, how about no. I had no reaction time to that, but okay. Can I even go this way with this? Oh no, I can't. Okay. That's too bad. We do have to go this way. I'm pretty sure this is the end of the level, too. Oh, wait, that's a bomb bot uh, spawner up there. Wait, when you stop and think about it, the ocean sure is wet. Well, Happy yeah, happens. right? Hooray! There we go, and that should blow up whatever that is. Whoever said time flies. Oh, that's the other. I, dude, I was standing still for like two seconds looking at what was going on. But thanks, game. And then we hit whatever that was. Some kind of platform, and now we got enemies. And then, and then, and enemies. 
I'm just gonna ignore you guys, because really there's no point of fighting you. You guys provide no... Oh, never mind. I guess we do have to fight you. And time to die. Who's your sponge daddy? Who's your sponge daddy? Not you, SpongeBob. Waiting for... Why does he keep acting like he's impatient? I was... I literally did not stop moving. SpongeBob is just one impatient little SOB today. And Ali smash! I was like, what did it do? It just sunk everything into the lava. Wait a minute. Oh. I see. This is like the end of the level boss fight, I guess. Wait, why is he not taking any damage? So that enemy just doesn't take damage? Okay. Wait, why would they give me a power-up that's essentially useless against, uh... Spinning enemies? That's weird. I love when the game, like, trolls you with abilities that aren't really that useful. Is it? Alright, we only have five more to go. That's pretty good. Death to this giant robot guy over here. Oh yeah, we just got little guys left. Can we knock him in? Which I don't think we can, because Spongebob doesn't knock back. Wait. There's more than 15 robots. Oh, that is the end of the level. Open 24 hour sign. Nice. Rock on. And there we go. We defeated Rock Bottom. The shadow of a slasher! I think I just inked in my pants. You don't have pants. I can't believe I was reduced to tears by a wannabe fry schnook. Yay! We're not going to be horribly mutilated by ghosts! Oh yeah, that's weird, but sure. Oh yeah, and the other two will be the challenges, and then the... Wait, no, I think we missed one. Which of these is not a superpower? X-ray vision. He doesn't have X-ray vision. He can throw with these really weak water balls, and then he can breathe underwater, obviously, because he's a human. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon in the links below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.